Well, welcome back to the kitchen at Anderson Acres. Today we're going to be making whole wheat bread. Whole wheat bread is wholesome and delicious and it's so excellent with peanut butter and jam. It's good with everything, but I'm partial to peanut butter and jam. So I am going to be doing not 100% whole wheat. We'll talk about that in a minute. Basic ingredients, very, 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 very easy. Okay, hang on, I just have to grab a small knife. I forgot my small knife. First thing you want to do, about one and an eighth of a cup of water. You do need a little bit of extra water. I know most of my recipes call for one cup of water, but this one needs a little bit of extra water because of the whole wheat flour. If you're doing more whole wheat flour than I am, you're going to want to increase your water a little bit again. So then you want about two tablespoons of butter. Okay, always use butter. You can use margarine if you like. I prefer butter about a teaspoon of salt, any salt you like, I use Himalayan, a tablespoon of sugar. Now for our flours. I'm using only one cup of whole wheat flour. You can use up to three cups and then you can cut it with white flour if you like. So you're gonna do three cups total flour. I'm using one cup of whole wheat. This is because the more whole wheat flour you use, the denser your bread is and the longer it'll take to rise. So I find a one to two ratio is pretty perfect. So that's one cup of whole wheat and two cups of white flour. So if you want, you can absolutely do it. Ah, try not to spill. You can absolutely do it with 100% whole wheat. Just be aware that it will be a lot denser and take longer to rise a lot. Now we're going to do one heaping teaspoon of yeast. I'm using bread machine because I'm obviously using my bread pan. So this goes in the bread maker. Follow the directions on your bread maker. Pick the dough setting because we're not going to bake it in the bread maker. We're just going to make the dough. So for me that'll take about an hour and a half for my dough cycle. So we're just going to go pop this in the bread maker and we'll come back when it's done. All right so our dough is ready. It's looking pretty good. Remember I used a one to two ratio. So one cup of whole wheat flour and two cups of white flour. Now this is a good ratio for me. If you want a heavier bread then you'll want to do more whole wheat less white. <clears throat> but I find this works really well it still has the nuttiness of a whole wheat loaf, but it also rises up nice and light and fluffy the way a white loaf would, which I think is the best of both worlds because I do like the taste of whole wheat. So now we need to make this into a loaf. Because whole wheat can be a little bit finicky when it comes to the rising, we're just going to move that out of the way so I don't accidentally spray it. But we're just gonna take our bread pan, I'm using a silica pan, and we're just going to spritz the silica pan with a little bit of spray. This is just a canola oil spray. It's nothing fancy, just a nice cooking spray. It keeps things from sticking. There's not too much of a problem with sticking with silica, but I like to use it anyway. So now we're going to make our loaf. This is really easy. Just kind of roll the ends in roll this up. You don't have to do anything special with whole wheat. You don't need to try to roll it up nicely or what you just want to do is make sure the bottom is pinched. Okay, you don't want it coming apart. Whole wheat tends to do that. So you want to make sure that your seam is really well pinched. Roll it on a flat surface to try to flatten that seam even more. Okay, just like that. Try to keep it nice and even because if it bulks up in the middle you're going to end up with a loaf that is just weird. So try to keep it even. Then you're going to take your pan, you're going to lift this into your pan. Now whole wheat takes longer to rise by quite a lot. So we're going to leave this alone for at least 90 minutes. I put mine in the microwave, just cover with a damp cloth if you want. But either way at least 90 minutes because whole wheat does retard the rising process. So we're going to check on it in 90 minutes. 
Well, it's been about an hour and a half, and look at how beautiful our bread looks now. This is our whole wheat bread ready to go in the oven. We are going to bake it at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for 25 to 30 minutes, somewhere in there. You wait till it looks good. So check it at 25 minutes. I'm not going to brush it with anything because I'm going to put some uh, melted butter on it when it comes out of the oven. But for now, 25 to 30 minutes at 375 degrees Fahrenheit. We will come back when it's done. So there it is, our completed whole wheat bread loaf. Now we're just going to just come out of the oven. So it's very, very hot. So we're just going to take a little melted butter, not a ton, there's only about a tablespoon of melted butter, and we're just gonna brush it over the crust. I'm just gonna do it gently, thoroughly, lots of butter. Well, I mean, not lots, but enough that you cover your crust. All the exposed areas, make it delicious. There we go. There we go. Very nice. So now we want to let that cool in the pan for about 20 minutes. After that, you can take it out. And when I take it out, I rest it slightly on its side so it finishes cooling. But you can, of course, cut it immediately. I'm saving this for sandwich bread, so we're not going to be cutting it until it is 100% cool. If you like hot bread, cut it after about 20 minutes. So, so thanks for joining us today. If you'd like to make your own bread, you now have the recipe for whole wheat. It's simple and easy and a lot of fun. It's also quite tasty. I like the nutty flavor. If you'd like to see more of our videos, don't forget to like and subscribe so that we will keep baking for you. See you tomorrow.